This is going to be the first in a series of videos on the updated FPS kit available on Dot Big Bang. To get the kit, we're just going to hit this little hamburger menu up in the corner and hit build a game. That'll bring us to a screen where we can select from some available starter games and we're going to pick the FPS kit. What I'm going to cover in this video is just a quick overview, like a quick start to get you in and building something as fast as possible. And then in later videos, I'll go into more detail and break down things that have more settings and more choices for you to make. So this is what you're going to see when you first open up the FPS kit. I've full screened it so that it's easier to see the stuff available to you. And one of the first things that we're going to want to do is go down into this corner and make sure that you're in the advanced mode for the editor, just so that you can see everything that we might need to use here. And then you're going to go up onto the top here and hit the stop button. When you stop the game, it's going to automatically put you into the fly camera mode, which will let you zoom around the game using the WASD keys. And that's really important because most of the parts of this game are actually hidden over here on this workroom platform. So when the game stops, there'll be a big sky arrow pointing at the, the area you need to get to. If we zoom in on this platform, you'll see examples of all the different types of interactive content that are in the scene. And if we click on any one of them, and then open this panel on the side, you'll be able to see the scripts that are actually making these objects behave the way that they do. For the sake of this quick start guide, the easiest way to make modified objects uh, for these types of things, like windows and boards and whatnot that might be in the scene, is to just go and find the object that behaves most similarly to what you want, and then ch change the art. And you can do that by going to the voxel object and then selecting the object that you want to have that behavior. So say I want this vending machine to now be, we'll just use this little Cyclops spawner and I can just hit select. And now all the behaviors that were on that vending machine are now on this Cyclops spawner. So that's one quick way that you can change things in the scene. The first thing you're probably gonna wanna do with this game is to make yourself a new gun. It's not hard to do, but there's three parts that you're going to need to change. You're going to need to make a weapon model. That's the part that's going to attach to your player. You're going to need a pickup. That's the thing that the player will walk into in the world to grab a copy of this gun. And you're going to need to make some data over in the weapon database. Okay, so we'll quickly do that right now. So the easiest way to get what we need here so that the new weapon we make has the functionality we want is going to be to copy an existing object. So let's just make a copy of the pistol. Um, you can use control C, control V, or you can hold down the control button and just drag by the little blue box and that'll make a copy. And then in the entity panel of this object, hit unlink from template because we don't want this new one to have any connection to this old template at all. We're going to make a new gun here. Then go to the art and you can pick any art that you've made. I've done a quick recolor here where I just turned this pistol red and that's what I'm going to select. So I went and I looked up the object DMG pistol color in the search and then I just recolored it so it would look a little bit different for this. Then you're going to need to rename it and make a template out of it. I'm just going to add the word red to the name. Hit new template, paste that same name into the template and hit save. Always make sure you name your templates. The other thing to note about this is this is where the link object to slot script is. There is some settings like if you wanted to put the gun in the other hand, you could have those here, but your gun needs this to work. Okay, so we now have a template with that on it. The next thing we need to do is hook that template with its attachment to the player into some information about a weapon that will control things like the bullet trail and the muzzle flash and the ID needed to pick this weapon up. So to do that, we're going to copy an existing data. I To open this sort of database list, I just clicked on this icon. And the first data here is the pistol data. So we can just hit copy 
and then up here we can say paste is new and that'll add a new data to the bottom of the list with those same settings and this is just a good one to start from because i'm just making a sort of a fancier version of that same gun so we're going to need to have a unique data id so i'm just going to say pistol red okay and i'm going to just copy that to my clipboard because i know i'm going to need it in a minute we don't really need to change the display name or anything like that for what we're doing right now but we do need to change this item, the model, to the model that we just made, the one that says red. So we'll do that. While we're here, let's just up the damage to like maybe 40 just for fun. I'm not really going to change any of this, but let's, let's make it have a red trail color on the bullet just so that it feels a little bit different. That should be all that we need to change just for this quick demonstration. Okay, so now we need the third part, which is the pickup. Now the pickup doesn't need to look like the weapon. It does in this case, um, in the example, but it doesn't need to. So, for example, if I wanted this pickup to look like the Cyclops spawner, <laughs> um, that would be fine. It, it, it doesn't matter because what's going to matter is the art over here. So if you wanted these pickups to be something like a gun rack or an icon of a gun, that's totally cool too. Uh, let's just change it though so it looks like the gun that it's actually going to be. And then we have to open the weapon pickup script right here and paste that ID we made in. The gun is now added to the game like it exists and a player could get it, but they can't run over to this platform. So we're going to have to move that gun to somewhere the player could actually get it in order to test it. So I'm just going to put it over here. We'll just put it next to the crate stack so that we can sort of see where it is. I hit save and then let's test this out. Okay, so I picked it up and you can see I have a red gun and it shoots red trails and that's it. So in the next videos, I'll go into a lot more detail and I'll explain all kinds of different settings and fun weapons that like change things from what we've got here. But if you just want to jump in and start making something right away, you can make yourself a gun and you can try what I showed early in the video where we just swap the voxel object. Like I could make my own glass, for example, and just swap the voxel object that's on this glass and then I'd have that behavior. See you in the next video.